Still? Yes. Summer's not over. Hey, I'm back, and this time we're still talking summer. Summer's not over yet. What can you do to make the best of your summer when there's practically only one week left? It's not over. You can still have time to have no regrets. How can you make some last minute plans and still love your summer and not really spend any money and be excited about it? Find out in this video. I don't know why I'm pointing to myself because I'm in the video. Okay, so let's get started. First, why are you even watching this video? Are you thinking there's still something left you could have done this summer? Well, raise your hand if that's you. Right? You either, whatever the reason may be, you worked all this summer, you worked all this summer, or you slept all this summer. Whatever the reason is on why you didn't get to do as much as you wanted to this summer, you, number one, stop waiting. What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for people? Are you waiting for a day off? Are you waiting for the money? Are you waiting for a perfect body by this summer? It's like, that's nothing more is gonna come. You gotta stick with what you got. You gotta, you gotta deal with what you got and make something happen. So stop waiting. Do not wait any longer for those people. Don't wait for the money to come. Because if you're waiting for people, don't wait for them. Do it on your own. If you're waiting for money, there's so many things you can do for free. So stop finding a reason to wait and just do it. Next thing, number two, plan something this week. It's so easy to plan two weeks from now, three weeks from now, a month from now, but when's the last time you just sat there and was like, I'm gonna do something this week? Not just like dinner, but like something that you actually have been wanting to do. Like for instance, I wanted to paddleboard like this entire summer, and we had a group of people that wanted to go and all that jazz, and at the end of the day, I was like, I'm going on this day. If you wanna come, come, and if not, I'm gonna go like this is what I'm doing so make a plan set a date and do it this week what day this week uh -huh, uh -huh. do it right now all right step number three announce your plans announce your plans let people know what you're doing tell everybody announce your plans whether you text it you tweet it you Facebook it say for instance I'll just keep using paddleboarding for an example I wanted to go paddleboarding so I easily could just send out a group text. Hey, I'm going paddleboarding. September, whatever. This is what I'm doing. Who'd like to join? Tell everybody. Yeah, just tell everybody. Tell everybody what you're gonna do. If it be one person or five people joining, it makes it more confirmed and official. Not like I'm thinking about it. Who think they might wanna join? No, I'm doing this at this time this day. If you wanna come, cool. Who's down? Make an announcement, not a suggestion or question. When you're sure about something, it allows other people to make the decision themselves. Not think about it, but decide, yeah, I'm down, or no, <sighs> have fun without me. And at the end of the day, you don't need a group of people. All you need is one. And if one person doesn't show up, you'll make a friend there, you'll be fine. Fourth thing you can do to make sure you still have the best summer ever in one week, stop. Emma, no, just kidding. Stop comparing yourself to other people. I'm gonna stop moving my hand. Don't compare yourself. Don't compare yourself to people's other trips or their experiences. Oh, they've done this this summer. I didn't get to do anything cool like that. So what, who cares, you're a different person. Figure out what you wanna do and be okay with that. However little or however big or however many people come or nobody, pe nobody people go. Or if nobody goes, be okay with whatever you decide to do and don't compare it to what someone else did, okay? Especially when it comes to summer. You're seeing people out in bathing suits and beach and you're going, and you're on your phone and you're looking and you're like, they have abs. Where, where, where are my abs? Your abs are just under that food that you just ate, that's fine. It doesn't matter. Throw on a one piece bathing suit and call it a day and make sure you take your pictures facing forward, not side shots, you'll be fine. You know, just figure out what you have and be confident with that. It's okay if you only got $5 to spend that day. Go get yourself some Froyo, walk yourself on over to the beach or drive yourself on over to the beach and watch the sunset. Simple as that. That's gonna go actually into the last step, number five. Fifth way that you could still have the best summer ever in within a week is keep it simple. Keep it simple. It's not something you need to plan way in advance since summer is practically coming to an end. It's time to just make a last minute plan. And usually, I'm telling you, these last minute plans are usually the best plans. There's not so much drama and trying to figure out the details of it all. Just do it 
and figure out what happens from there. So keeping it simple could be just like I said, in terms of going for a walk early in the morning or late at night, sunrise or sunset, you can easily just get some Froyo, a couple bucks. I can walk, but maybe you're not walking distance, you can drive to the beach and watch the sunset or sunrise. Like the summer is about being outside and being active and just chilling, not like adding drama, you know what I'm saying? And when you're doing things last minute, it's not always gonna be a big group. It's fine if it's just one other person. When there's only one other person, there's less drama, there's less making more people happy, there's less waiting on someone else. Sometimes it's okay if it's just you or just you and one other person. It keeps it nice and easy, drama free. And think of the free things. It's free to go for a hike. It's free to go for a walk on the beach. It's free to ride a bike if you have one. It's free to do so many things. Don't think about how summer costs money. Think about how you're actually outside. There's good weather. There's no bad weather holding you back. And you get to be active and do something outside. You can literally go to the pier. And there's a lot of birds at the pier mostly. So we used to feed ducks. So that was free. You got some bread. Nobody eats bread these days with all the gluten and the carb and the vegan stuff and all that stuff going on. So free the bread that you don't eat to the ducks. You know, you used to go to a park and just feed the ducks. And me and my friend would take pictures and have fun and do weird stuff. Like forget about the fact that there always has to be something scheduled and just spend time with one other person and enjoy that and not make plans, but make a plan to get out of the house. So that's it. Keep it simple. The way you're going to finish off the summer is just do it. Just do it. A little Nike quote for you. Okay, just do it. Just go out there. Last minute plans are sometimes the best plans. There's not too much detail to it and like you just let life happen. You're a fun person. You're cool. You're chill. You'll be fine. So don't compare yourself. Don't expect that you're not going to go to the beach. Go to the beach no matter what your body looks like. Wear something that you're comfortable in and at the end of the day you can take a picture from here and up or from your back, you know what I mean? Everybody's back looks pretty decent, right? You know what I mean? Especially if the sun's setting, the dark shadows, you'll be fine. So other than that, don't worry about it. I know I'm excited about this because I'm taking my own advice. There are a few things that I still want to do that I'm going to be doing this week, so I'm excited. Feel free to share. If there's something that's on your mind, you're like, I'm going to do this. I still might want to steal your idea. I, I like to do fun things. Place it in the comment below. If you're like me, one of the people that have been working this whole summer and have kind of fit time to do some fun things but want to finish it off strong. So remember, if you like these videos, if you like sharing them with people, if you think they're cool, fun, whatever, don't miss a video. Make sure you subscribe in the link below and also hit the bell because it'll remind you whenever I post a new video, even though I'll let you know it's every Friday. So sometimes you don't know what time, so get that bell. Until next time, peace, love, and balance. Summer's not over. Summer's not over. Lord knows summer's not over because it's hot. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Okay, bye. You like my shirt? I made it myself. I don't know why I turned it into a bobblehead. Okay, I'm good. Bye.